We went for a, for a lesson um, recently with Hamish Milne, who we studied with um, throughout the academy, and he, he quoted somebody else that had said to him, "Oh, two two pianos, uh, so many vices and half the joys of piano solo. You know, twice as percussive and half as singing." Which I guess potentially that it can be like that, um, and conversely, you know, hopefully it can be twice as singing and, and half as percussive. And you just have that much more. Um, you have that many more options available to you, you know, in terms of how you, how you voice things. Through the academy, we both studied there with the same teacher in London, and um, for some reason or another, we hit on the idea one day of looking at the Writer's Spring. There exists a piano duet version made by Stravinsky. <laughs> This was a kind of project that every Friday for a, a month or so we would get together and spend the day just exploring the score, which was an amazing way to get to know the piece. It was such a kind of liberating thing to get inside this piece in that way that that sparked off all these other interests in, in looking at the piano duet rep as well. To be as creative as, as, as you could be with, with the sound that you were making on the piano with 20 fingers on one keyboard, it was, in a way, it was a great way to immerse ourselves into this new world of, um, of 20 fingers on one instrument. <laughs> How do you then uh, categorise, uh, I suppose, the, 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 the four-handed stuff versus the two piano stuff? Often the two piano feels more like um, chamber music and inverted commas and that you tend to be playing off each other, bouncing ideas backwards and forwards. With four hands we, you tend to feel that you're creating some kind of homogenous um, idea. The lovely thing about well, what we do in this uh, context with the two pianos and the four hands is that there aren't thousands of people doing it, um, for one, and also that the repertoire is largely unexplored in the same way that orchestral and piano solo repertoire is, for example. And so you can look at things in um, possibly in more with, with fresher eyes, and that's really um, exciting. 